Let me tell you about my favorite sides for a 4th of July barbecue. I love doing baked fries. It's so unexpected. People don't expect to get French fries at a barbecue. But here's a really great and easy way to do them. On a sheet pan, I took the potatoes that I cut in bars, tossed with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, and then baked it in a 350 degree oven until they get nice and crispy. And then for a really nice presentation, you take parchment paper or newspaper like I have here, cut it into squares, fold it into a triangle, and then just roll it up into a cone, and I set it in this little Pottery Barn pot, and then just take some of these crispy fries and set them in there just like that. Really beautiful presentation and easy to eat. Another great side is my snappy apple slaw. It's a mixture of julienne peppers, cabbage, carrots, and apples. And it's a vinaigrette-based dressing, so it's really flavorful and it'll stand up to the heat. And then my favorite side is my grilled stuffed corn. What I do is I take the corn, I buy it with the husk on, I peel back the husk like this, remove the silk. And then I take a mixture of butter, chopped garlic, lime juice, a little lime zest, and chili powder, a little salt and pepper as well. You just rub it onto the corn, but just enough so it coats the corn like this. And then take that husk and push it back down over the corn. And we're gonna grill this, and the butter is gonna baste the corn as it grills and steams. And to keep it together, I just take a small piece of the husk like this, and I use it to tie the top. Now it's time to take it to the grill. Well, let me show you how it all comes together. Here's the grilled corn with the chili lime garlic butter the snappy apple slaw, and the oven-baked french fries. And I hope you have a great 4th of July.